Good afternoon crafty friends, it's Cathy, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've come back today to show you hopefully part two, as promised, of some of the um, woodware craft collection stamps and spend stampendous house mouse designs that I've bought recently. Um, these are the other cards that I made. Um, so I'm going to show you the first stamp that I used. Uh, this is the house mouse and it's the Kling Christmas Morning. So another Kling stamp from Stimpendous. Lovely little image of some mice around there, a little mouse in a cup and some little mice. We've got Maxwell, Muzzy, Mud Pie and Amanda. They've all got names, these little family of mice, which is lovely. Um, this is actually a Christmas stamp. I didn't realise that until I bought it and so I thought I wanted to try and have a go at turning it into more of a generic card uh, trying to use it for other occasions rather than just Christmas so I mixed it up a little bit and changed some of the colours so here's the, the card that I made with it that's that one and I've obviously stayed away from Christmas colours trying to keep it as uh, generic as I say as possible um, I've also used some sentiment stamps from the Woodware Craft Collection which is also by Creative Expressions and this one's called Word Fragments you can probably just see it there Word Fragments and that comes with some stamps that have actually look as though they've got a board around them so that's nice and easy for you to stamp. So for this one I actually picked out the wonderful news just there and the let's celebrate if I can find that. Where's it gone? Down there. The let's celebrate. So I thought by putting in different colours that you could actually turn this card into perhaps a birthday card for someone that's reluctant because he looks a bit reluctant there to spend another birthday but his friends are going to try and kick him out of bed and uh, say no come on get up it's your birthday let's have a let's have a celebration or it can be wonderful news it could be perhaps for a an expectant mum who just found out she's expecting a baby so wonderful news let's celebrate or it could be for somebody who's just getting better after an illness so it's wonderful news that we're hearing that our friend or relative is getting better. So let's celebrate and uh, have a little party there. So that's that's the first one. I've coloured in the actual image with Pro Markers, which is one of my favourites. You, you guys that have uh, come to my channel a few times probably know that my my colouring medium of, of choice is always Pro Markers. I do like to use brush markers and sometimes some watercolour pencils. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I I just love the um, love the effects that we get at the end because the pro markers give it a quite a printed look, which I quite like. And then for the outside of the card, just to give it a little bit of texture and depth, I've used some distress ink by Tom Holtz. Tim Holtz, beg your pardon. And the one I use for the outside of this card is Antique Ink. So that's the very first card that I made using that stamp. And then the next one I used was this one, which was by Woodware Craft Collection again. And it shows a little gnome house and some gnomes and some leaves and acorns and some flowers and then it's got another it's got a little sentiment stamp on there it says our together home this particular plate is called the acorn acorn gnomes that's the acorn gnomes there so i thought that was quite pretty so this is what i've done with the acorn gnomes i might take that out of the cello bag actually because you've got a little bit of glare and reflection on the cello bag on the camera so this is the Acorn Gnomes and it's Our Together Home. Again, I've um, coloured in 
the images with Pro Markers. And the lovely thing I think I explained in the last part of uh, this collection of stamps I've been using in the video, um, I said it's really good with these, these stamps by Woodware Craft Collection and by Creative Expressions that they actually show you where to do the shading and to give the darker colours, which as quite an inexperienced um, colourist, I find really useful. So it shows you where to put the darker colours, like I put a darker green there, I've used a leaf green and then um, I've done a grass green for the lighter colour. And then just a couple of little um, extra sentiments that you get on the stamp. Um, well actually I think I used the stamp for that one, which is off another plate that you're going to see in a minute. So the good thing with these stamps is that you can mix and match, which is lovely. And then I use some Distress Ink again, just to give it a bit of depth of colour for the whole of the background image. And for this one, again, Tim Holt's Dis Distress, I use the Mustard Seed. So again, this is just a, another little 6x6 six six card that I made out of that. And the next one to show you is this stamp plate which is called Sunflower Gnome and that's got some lovely little sentiments on there it's got hello sunshine be kind spread seeds of happiness hope you can see that there and it's got a nice little picture of a gnome sitting on a sunflower and then around you've got some separate little embellishments you've got some bees in in different sort of poses there. You've got a left and a right bee and you've got one just sitting with both of his wings spread out. So that one is this one that I made. There we go. And I used the Hello Sunshine sentiment and the Spread seed of ha Seeds of Happiness because I, as I say all these cards I've tried to use for any occasion or or basically just to say or just to cheer somebody up who's feeling a bit down or just to say hi to our friends. Um, so I've done three little bees on there. Again I used some Pro Markers, colour in the image and this time again I used some more Distress Ink and I've gone back to using the Antique Linen which I find is really good for quite a lot of backgrounds and as I've put it on a little white 6x6 card I just thought it gives it a bit of depth of colour and a bit of interest. It gives you a bit of a background, nice and quick and easy. And then the last one I've got to show you today is this one, which is Rainbow Gnome. If you can see that there, Rainbow Gnome. Again from Woodware Craft Collection. And this is where you'll see the little sun embellishment that I used on... The Together Home card. So I use that little embellishment that came off of this plate. And you've also got your lovely little gnome sitting there on top of a rainbow with some flowers, one in his hand and one just sitting above the rainbow and a little heart. And then some lovely little sentiments at the bottom. You've got wishing you a rainbow of happiness. You colour my world. You can do it. And a rainbow of love. So it can be sent to somebody for a range of different occasions. As I said, that one's called the Rainbow Gnome. And I'll just show you the card that I made with that one. And I put on this one two little sentiments off of it. I put, you colour my world and wishing you a rainbow of happiness. So that could be used just to, literally, just to say, hi, I'm thinking of you, anything like that. And then again, because I'm... I'm absolutely in love with uh, Tim Holtz's Distress Inks at the moment. I think I'm using them on basically everything I make. And to do the background, or just to do the edges of the background, I've left the middle of the card white underneath. Um, just to do round the edges and just to highlight the, the sentiments. This time I used Stormy Sky. And I just popped that on with one of my little blending brushes, which I've bought from Time for Tea Designs, lovely little brushes and they give you a nice a nice smooth blend all the way round. 
And then just to remind you, the card that I actually stamped on and coloured, just remind you of that if you haven't seen my last video, is the Sheena by Sheena Douglas. It's the white stamping card, which is A4 in size, which is roughly, I know in America you use a slightly different card size to ours. I think yours are eight and a half centimetres by, no, sorry, eight and a half inches by 11 inches. And I know that because I had a lovely, a lovely pack of rainbow coloured card that a colleague of mine brought back from the United States for me recently when she went to Florida to Disney. And uh, I think she went into Walmart, which sounds marvellous. I think we've got an Asda, I think, which is part of Walmart or used to be. But I don't think they do as much as you do over in the States. So I've got some. I'm just going to show you, as just because I'm really happy with this. This is this one. It's the Astro Brights. And as you can see, it's 8.5 by 11 inches. So, and they've got beautiful colours in this collection. So I'll be using that quite a lot. Never actually seen this one over here in the United Kingdom. It's lovely. So this, as I was saying, the, the Sheena White Stamp card is 300 GSM. So it's probably about, I would say, about £90, possibly. And that's only a guess. So if I'm wrong, I apologise. But it's a nice weight of card. And as you can see, you get lovely stamped, crisp images on, the, on this card. And it's lovely and smooth to work with as well. So, I'd just like to say thank you for coming back to watch part two. And if uh, this is your first time on my channel, then I'm really pleased to have you here. Um, if you like what you've seen or would like to come back and see some more uh, videos when I upload them, then just please press the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and uh, you'll get notified when I've uploaded another video. A video. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, take care, and as always, happy crafting.